the day is done quilt, we are going to work on the day is done uh, book. Before I get started though, I want to take and I'm going to wipe this down so when I use my cutter, it won't <clears throat> it won't mess it up. So I'm going to keep that right there. Now. Let's get started on this right here. And see what we could do here. We are going to open it up, call all, cut all the pre printed piece, printed pieces along outer line. <clears throat> yeah, I think we can do that. But now we don't we don't want to cut them with two like this because they don't never never work out the same way. So what we're gonna did is we're gonna start right here in the middle. Make sure we ain't got nothing. And we're gonna cut upper line right here. And it don't have to be perfect. There. we want to do some measuring here we have 19 and a half get a piece, some piece of paper here 19 and a half by 10 so it's 10 by 19 and a half. Alrighty. <clears throat> Let's know what we want to do is we want to. Now, this is not the way it's going. It's just the way I'm doing it. There's one, two, we need three of these. So, what I'm going to do. I'm going to go like this. So right here is two. <clears throat> now I'm going to make sure it covers the whole thing. <clears throat> like that. Cut her down. <clears throat> okay. Now I need one more. <clears throat> so what I want to do let's throw it up that away cut me out one more alright <clears throat> now what I want to do from here is this is page 2 and this one is nine. <clears throat> so I'm gonna get one of these. Let's get Mama Cat out of the way, <clears throat> and I'm gonna lay them out like this. 
All right, now this one right here is the front and the back. <clears throat> so we're going to put it here. And this is page two. Now I need to find page three. <clears throat> All right, here's three. No, this is one. So, let's go it. All right. Page one. Flip it over. Make sure they're both going the same identical way. <coughs> I wonder if I should make it even with this one. All right, we'll play with it in a minute. All right, so now, there's that. All right, now, that one right there is one and two. Nope, right here's two. Two. And seven. Five, six. Three. All right. Flip it over. Flip it over. And I think they are wrong. Now they're right. Okay. Now this one, five. Should go like that. Alrighty. I got these right here down. We'll be back in a minute. And then we'll cut them down to size. Let's get to seeing what we can do about doing this one right here. And we're going to cut it down. So we'll make sure that it's good and flat. Good and flat. And then we're going to go down the sides here, right next to it, and give it a trim down. <clears throat> now I'm going to go to the other side. <clears throat> and then I'm going to trim down this side. I like making these books. I think they're really cool to make. <clears throat> And I think they're really cute. And when I go to uh, sell the quill to get rid of it, whatever I do with it, I'm going to give them the book right along with it. <clears throat> and then that way it goes with it. All right. Now. So what I can do about one that up, sticking that over here, getting rid of it. We really didn't need them right there because we did it another way. Alright, so if we can't do it like that. There we go. Alright, now this is the uh, beginning of the quilt. I meant the book. So this is number one, <clears throat> and then this is number, no, number one right here. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Let me find number two. Okay, right here is number two. <clears throat> and we kind of want to get it in the middle of this one. Now the this one right here is bigger than any of them. <clears throat> Alright, that's two. And then this one right here is four. <clears throat> so, 
we have the beginning of it. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. <clears throat> okay. Now it don't matter how we go as long as we make sure that everything is right on it. Now I want to go to this one. And now we're going to put it on the front right here. Get me some pins here. I think I'm done with that. Have me some pins out here. I'm going to empty this thing out. I can put them in later. So I got plenty of pins right here. <laughs> yeah, I think it's going to turn out pretty good. All right, now let's start over with that. <clears throat> we want to make sure our corners are right. Well, get out there, fingers. There's that one. Okay. Here's this one. Now I want to go in the middle. Okay, that's cool beans there. <coughs> Can't get that one scooted over some. For some reason, this one over here don't want to lay flat. So I'm saying that they don't. Uh, ow. They don't actually line up right. I think y'all will see this little be purple going down that way. Okay. There we go. All right. Now, we want to leave an opening. So what we're going to do, I'm going to do it like that. So from right here all the way around to right here to this one, leaving this, I think I'm going to need a little, little bit. Let's do it right here. We have an arrow right here. I don't, okay, it says leave the opening for turning. So, <clears throat> I like that better. We have uh, what we need right there. <clears throat> Alright. Now, so if we can't do this one, which one is it stuck to better, that one? <clears throat> and we will make sure the words are going the same. And then we'll pin her down. <clears throat> and let's not forget to back stitch. Because back stitching uh, will save us a lot. Okay, that one's not going in. I don't know how come it won't go through this batting. <laughs> I wish it would. A whole lot easier. I don't know. It's probably better that it did. So as you know when your pins are, are getting dull. Okay, then we got that one. Stick them over here. This is that way they're ready to rock and roll when we're ready to rock and roll. Take that one off. Turn it around. Do 
we'll make sure our letters are facing the same way. Peter down. Mama can't find her box over there. Yeah. She says, I'll not be bothered over here, so I think I'll just stay. <laughs> Got a scrap box over here, and that's what she's in. Alrighty, I'm going to sew these down. I'm going to leave my opening right here, and then... We'll be back when I get these right here done. <clears throat> and, and that way, we'll have it done. All right, Mama Cat. All right, Mama Cat. Yeah, Mama Cat. See there, Mama Cat? I got you. You're in my box with my scraps in it. All righty. Okay, I'll sew this right here down. Let me find okay, right here is the. What? I don't want to go that way. Oh well, I'm gonna have to. <clears throat> the other ones I went straight down that way. <clears throat> Probably the way that you um, put these little books on. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna get started and we're gonna sew the uh, baby down. So I had to uh, stop about a half an inch into it, I think is what it said. Could have been a quarter of an inch. That's what I've done, a quarter of an inch. I want to try to keep as much of the page as I can on it. I want to go back to that one. To make sure I got enough on here. I don't like these plastic uh, bobbins because when they get to a certain point and all they make clattering noises in your sewing machine and you're thinking, oh no, something's wrong with my sewing machine and there's nothing wrong with your sewing machine. I went hunt one day and I'm like, oh my god, what's going on? Why is it clattering like that? There's nothing wrong. So I had to figure it out. Alright, you want to put your arm to going. So it'll be hot by the time you get done. Alright, let's see if we can't get all this right here cleaned up. Good enough for me. Alright. Let's take it over here. <clears throat> and I wonder what's going on. I got junk underneath my thing here. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> now then we want to cut off our corners. Get them a chop down. Because we don't need them no more. We, they done serve their purpose. Now you don't want to cut into your seam. You cut into your seam, you're going to make a mistake. And we don't want to do that. Now let's see, We're, right here's my opening. See if I can't get into it. <clears throat> and turn it around. <clears throat> Keep on with shoving, 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 shoving. <clears throat> Turn it around. Yes. 
Okay, now you want to get your turning tool. <clears throat> and we're going to punch out our corners. Try to, look at that, just barely enough to put a hand in. <clears throat> so we're going to want to kind of like... Boy, I'm telling you. I'm not going to do all of them. I'm just going to do the one. <clears throat> Alright, let's see if we can't bob out a corner. Bob out a corner. <clears throat> Get a corner straight. There we go. Alright. Now. I think I'd be better off with the bigger one <clears throat> on this one. <clears throat> I do would do. All right, and we're going to want to iron it, and we're going to want to watch the corners to make sure that they're rolled out. Let's see. Yeah, I think that right there is turning out pretty good. Yeah. Alright, now I've got all of it except for right here. And I'm going to turn it down. Try to get that back out there. And turn that down. There we go. Alright. Put me a pin in it. Maybe. I got to grab the one that didn't want to go in. <clears throat> and let's get the other one. Alright. Now, without touching the plastic, I used to have some that I used that it didn't matter. <clears throat> but, uh, I don't know what I've done with them. I've packed them away. Alright, <clears throat> I'm going to do the rest of them, and then I'm going to take and I'm going to soak all the way around so we can close up that opening right there. Alrighty, let's finish this right here up. So, now we know this right here is going to be the front one. Turn it around, and then we have this one right here will be two and three. We want to line it up and kind of put it in the middle as much as we possibly can. Alright, now what I want to do is I'm going to put a pin right here. Put a pin over here. And then that way, make sure we have enough to put our um, pressure foot right in here. Alright, this one here is going to be a whole lot lighter, I think. Alright, we got three, we got four and five. We'll lay this one right here right on top of it. And this line, get you back here maybe, try to get these lines right here lined up the same identical way. And now I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to put it to the uh, to that one, <clears throat> like that. Now I got my uh, <clears throat> quilter's foot on, and I'm going to take, and I'm going to back stitch right here, and I'm going to go down. You know, it would be a whole lot easier if the, you had the line right there. Let me see if I can't. Draw, draw a line, and then that way we can see it. All right, here's this line, and that line. Now we want to make sure that we back stitch. All right, let's go to town on it and get her done. Hey, <laughs> we got this right here done. Now, we wanna, now, if you are having trouble making your stitches right in here, make your stitches bigger. And then that way, 
it will uh, go through pretty good. So I can't put it over there. I already swept the floor. I don't think I want to do it again. Not right now, anyway. I'll most definitely throw some down in there. I know I will. I probably already have. Just to be doing it. I'm good about that. I think it's going to turn out pretty good. We want to make sure that we get all of our, our stitches. Uh, and Because we, we don't want to leave no threads on here. I think that's turning out good. All right, let's give it a try. See here, it worked pretty good. My little one. All right, that's going to be hard to read upside down. The day is done. The night has come. The moon shines overhead. You're warm and safe, never alone, and very loved, my little one. The angels dance and Fairies prance, your dreams await, my little one. Now rest your eyes and sail the skies. Go to sleep, my little one. It was just like the um, the uh, quilt. I think that turned out pretty good. So, I hope you like it. And we will see you guys later. I would appreciate you donating to Poor Man Sewing. This is how you donate. You go to Poor Man Sewing and mash on it. Then you go up here to About and mash on it. And right here it says Donate to Poor Man Sewing. It will be very much appreciated. Thank you very much.